What's going on? Thought I would touch base, make a little video. I promise to talk about websites. It's been a busy week working on some cars. Working on cars is actually kind of relaxing, so it's nice to do that once in a while. I'm getting a little bit closer with the wakeboard mount. That's what's printing right over here. It's the bottom half of what I got going on. Looks pretty cool. Give it a look. So, if anybody thinks the uh, old wakeboard mount super easy, easy squeezy, lemon peasy, it's a little more advanced, a little more difficult because I will have people contact me saying, hey, can you share the file so they can print their own 3D file? But it's a little more extensive than just printing one. This one's going to be a little more tricky. I just actually figured out another little trick today that I'm going to try out to make sure I have some nice smooth rotation. Yeah, I think I just thought of something else. Because I've been having a really difficult time making it really smooth, but sturdy. Because when you go for sturdy, you don't get really smooth. It's a long story. I'll explain it someday when I get into the video about the wakeboard mount. So as I said, I was going to talk about some websites. Websites. Uh, should you pay somebody to do it? Probably not. What do you need? I guess it's really about how big you're going to go. I recommend starting small. Putting it online yourself. Building it yourself. Maybe get some tips from some people. But make it so it's manageable because one of the biggest things that's a pain in the bootay is that you get your website online, um, somebody coded it for you, you want some little change, you don't have no clue how to change it. So who are you going to call? Well, the developer. Put you back, blah, blah, blah. There's just things that when you have somebody else managing that for you, it's a pain. Now, is it easy to do? Actually, it is. Some of those websites like the ones you see during the Super Bowl, Wix. I actually use Wix. Wix is a super easy plug and play. It's not as advanced as what I will need someday, but I can totally start on Wix. I can do it myself. I pay probably 10 bucks a month, maybe a little bit more for some of the shopping cart stuff. I get three free emails where I can blast my community a month. That's not bad, but I can do everything I want to do from my $10 a month Wix account, at least for now. Um, like I say, someday I'll have to upgrade and do something a little more fancy. Someday I'll have to go to a WordPress site. WordPress is just a step above what I can do with Wix. So I can plug into QuickBooks really easy as long if I move up to that platform. So some of my overhead and my extra steps and tedious things become a little bit smoother and streamlined because it goes straight from the website right into QuickBooks. Handy. Okay, so if you don't need that, I mean, who needs that? Well, again, if you're gonna pay somebody, you can pay per hour. Find somebody on Craigslist or something. Not super awesome. If you're looking to go pretty big, because you need somebody that knows your code and doesn't have to come back and reinvent your codes, so you're probably going to want to reach out to somebody that you can ping and reach out to and continue the process. I try not to go too big too quickly because you go too big and you're like, I want this, this, and this, and this, and they'll even throw out ideas. And then you don't use like 70% of the stuff you developed. And you're like, I wish I had this. So you did all this overbuilding on all these other things, and then you want something that you actually are missing. It's just money on top of money, and it's painful as time. It's it's just lame. So that's why I say start small, build something, feel it out, see how things flow as you start answering orders or replying to people or trying to do any of the above. You're gonna learn what you do and how it should be done. And then when you're ready to go big, reach out to somebody. You already know what you want. You figured it out. You know what you're missing. What's really gonna make everything pop and do what you need it to do so you can make some sales. Then you reach out to somebody. Pay a little more coin. Put it on something like Bluehost. Bluehost is a little cheaper to, to host on as far as the platform. And if you're gonna go to that platform, you're gonna your web host guy is gonna know a little bit more about it. You ping him, ask him questions, uh, make sure that he builds some or he or she. Make sure that the people that build on the new platform are keeping in mind the things that are important to you. That you make sure you can do this, this, and this. You want to be able to 
touch it, do minor modifications on your own without their help. You should totally be in your wheelhouse to be able to do that. And your social media's got to be plugged in, your Facebook, whatever. Make it, make it automated, less touches, totally dynamic. That's a solid website. Sounds like a jungle back here. If you listen real quietly, you can actually hear tons of bees flying around the trees. It's a constant hum. But it is spring. That's what happens in the springtime. Someday I'll probably go to a Bluehost and a WordPress site. It's going to be a little more fancy, a little more tied together. I mean, the stuff like Diesel Brothers, uh, even GoPro are doing some really cool things that if you walk away from a shopping cart there's autom automated stuff that reaches out and say did you forget something and ch -ch -ch. which is pretty handy especially if you have a lot of people coming in um, gives you that second chance to reach out for that sale they were there they were looking they actually added something they walked away why did they walk away maybe throw them a, a coupon Diesel Brothers I've made a purchase because I always need some beard oil so I'll go to Diesel Brothers because again their their contest is wicked awesome. I'll probably never ever win it because every five dollars gets you an entry in the Diesel Brothers thing, but it's ridiculous and like I'm not buying expensive stuff and the people that are buying the diesel parts and that stuff spend a lot of money, getting a lot of entries, but it's still fun to watch. But after the purchase with them, I got some more beard oil coming. Um, they actually sent me a thank you, and guess what? It's like a twenty percent off. Uh, coupon which actually has kind of got some incentive that makes me want to go out and see if there's something cool I want to buy you know I'll get 20% off so you know things like that to tie in and, and, and then you'll have to be on a little more high-end uh, website right now with my Wix I can probably do some of those things but I pay per month for every little feature that's a little more high-end like that um, but I mean if they're making sales what's what's a couple bucks a month right for that little tie-in that little app the concept still holds true though start small try and build it yourself at least feel like you're gonna give it your best shot um, there's tutorials hit some YouTubes do some searches you'll find people that'll teach you how to do this this and this within one of those platforms and that hosting platform if you find a good one um, there's there's options out there Wix caught my eye because there's some really cool templates that you can just read like download and well you don't even download you just click and use and start modifying it pretty dope easy to tie in pictures dump videos plug in my Instagram do the things I needed to do and voila you know literally because I have I'm familiar with things I could get the you know the website built in, in like a day pump it online but again it's not that fancy it needs some work uh, don't give you know don't get too critical about my stuff but at least it works um, driving some sales but it, I will make it better at some point you know I'm starting small trying to decide what I like what I don't like what seems to work when you're working your social media you need a landing page so you can make a promotion have a landing page see what type of response you get because you want to know where the traffic came from anytime you get traffic so there's things you can tie into Wix ties in nice Google Analytics you put a little piece of code you can see where people come from how long they stayed where they went you want to be able to see that you won't know how to utilize it necessarily but it will be a very handy tool if you're gonna market and see who came to that page so you know use the free stuff Google Analytics is free monitor your website you want to know if it's up or down uh, there's free ones out there. Um, the one I use is Site Uptime. Um, it'll send me an email if it, the website, if my website doesn't re respond to their request. So at least I'm like, hmm, what's going on? And I can, I can know if it's down versus thinking it's up and it's not up. That'd be a problem, right? You don't, you definitely can't have a website that's down. So again, it's a free tool for one domain. I utilize that. Absolutely free stuff love free stuff so really in a nutshell I wanted to get something out there this was a short one I don't think I'm ever gonna get into specific how to's I don't want to sit down and point and click and show you how to do something and have a bunch of questions I'm not here to hold your hand and help you build something 
I want to fill your head with, you know, ideas of what you could and should be doing, and then your creativity and your work ethic is going to have to carry you through. You're going to have to be a grinder, rise and grind. you got to get out there and work. Don't expect to spend money and pay people to do everything you need to be have done. You need to be doing it because then when you're doing it, you're going to know when they're not doing it good. If they're not doing a good job and you're just dumping money on them, what a waste, right? So try and learn the ropes. Know every piece of your business better than anybody else. That way you know when your business is running and when somebody's dropping the ball. Um, otherwise, you kind of get what you get and you can't throw a fit because you know, how are you going to know? Well, I guess you can go to business school. And hopefully in business school they teach you all that stuff. I'm not sure if they do. I haven't been. Maybe I should go. Actually, the wife tells me I should go do some night classes. Just not sure when I'm going to fit it in in between all this. So let me know what you think. Questions. I will answer questions. I'll try and be helpful. But I'm not going to do a little tutorial like point and click. I just can't see that happening right now. Um, every little piece of the things that I cover, you should be willing to sit down and try and give it a good best effort. Everything you can Google and, and find how to's everywhere. People that aren't willing to, you know, think that they can actually learn something if your refrigerator breaks, guess who can fix it? You can. Okay, you might not have all the tools, granted. I've got tools for everything but it was collected over time so again i'm in a different place than most people but the point is that i mean try try if your refrigerator is broken it's already broken why not try try and fix it if you fixed it voila if you didn't at least you tried you gotta try and fail if you can't if you're too afraid to fail good luck it's uh gonna be a long road of entrepreneurism if that's a word and trying to be an entrepreneur that's afraid of failing is gonna hold you back like nothing else that will hold you back the most gotta try gotta fail get better with time get better with age look at this yeah that's it anyway be sure to check back pop questions in I'll try and help you the best I can I'm not gonna hold your hand though so Click here for the last business episode. Click over here for something epic. Subscribe. Make sure you post your questions and comments below.